on top, Kim. Okay, Kim, first of all, the second one. Okay, that's, that's a pretty decent grip. This is basically why I show, show you guys about this. You can have the horseshoe part this way, or you can also hold it on that bed. But you want to get alongside the seat. The reason is, most important thing in the curve ball rotation. rotation. And the next thing you want to do, learn on curve ball is the release point. Where I let go of this ball so that when it breaks, I'll start on one side of the plate and I'll let the break down the way. So if that was a right hand up there, I want to finish. I want that ball to break over the inside. Unless you got a left hand hand up there and you want to make a break coming in the back door, coming in the back side to a left hand. You change the release point. But for a strike, <coughs> let's say you got a right hand hitter up, we want to bring break it from the side. We don't want to leave it hanging there, right? Those pitches that hang in here, those are nitro. Nitro Explosion. See <coughs> Okay. So all I'm saying is, wait, I see you, you got your finger outside the seat. Try putting it on the seat here. And you want to keep, the thumb actually works for you too. Be nice and good, your elbow's in great position. You want to think fastball, when that ball comes out of your glove, you think fastball, you want to get up behind that ball, and you want to think about two things, over and through. This finger, it's over and through. If I do that off my nose, I plate. I want to finish over in and through. So I got that ball spinning actually two directions. So if you're this way, it's going to spin straight over, the ball will break top. It's going to be like they call it 12 to 6. It's o'clock, 12 o'clock to 6. We want one 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Because now he's breaking on two things. That's a tough ball. That's a carry wood type ball. Which is It's got tilt. Alright, so. Think about keeping your arm somewhat tucked, a little more tucked. You've got to be right in here a little bit more to curve ball. Just think about finishing close to your nose. You won't actually do that, but you want to tell yourself you're doing it. So then, don't get out here too far. If I get out here, this is like throwing here from fish on. I'm not fishing, but you know, I know I see it, this is what they would cast the line out there. If you get out here too far, what happens? I can't turn anymore. I'm too far up. I have to stay up in here and get that thing started. And get that over and through rotation so that it will break down the way. Now, when you watch the ball, I'm saying a lot of this very fast. If you don't understand well, it's fine. So, when you watch the ball, watch the ball to follow the ball to throw. You have to do The break. The spin on the ball will never lie. It will always tell you that the break of the pitch is basically the way the way the ball breaks will not lie. In other words, if it breaks straight down, you know the ball spin this one. If it's going to flat curve, it's going from side to side like that, which is one you don't really like. Because, you know, let's face it, the hitter needs to swing this one, right? It's swinging around the same plane. That means you're getting under it too much in the ball spin. If we see this, then we know we're getting that double, double spin. Okay. That's what we're looking hold for. On, on. So you adjust it. Watch the play the ball. Make your adjustment on how the ball's spinning. Because the break of the pitch will not lie. I'll tell you how the ball's spinning. How the play ball is. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Right. But actually, the first one you threw was pretty good. So that time you got a little bit too far out, you know, a little bit off turn. So think about staying right up in there and starting that thing a little closer to your nose. Over and through with that thing. Over and through. There you go. And you're a little side to side to side. That was a little more side to side. There's that step. So now you might want to get over a little bit. It's this finger that does a lot of the work. There you go. They hit both directions. The more you practice this. I learned to curve when I was nine years old in the, in the alley. I guess guys. So, that's what I can With a taped ball with no seams in it. But it was sloppy. It wasn't good, but I kept doing work. It wasn't good. It did so a lot when I was a little bit. I thought, did you see the fly ball? That was a little bit long. It got a little bit long. Stay up in the